I'm Sinjin Frizzell. This is my restaurant, Fort Defiance, on uh, Van Brunt Street in the Red Hook neighborhood of Brooklyn. Fort Defiance opened in 2009, and we have served uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner here for 11 years. In late March, I started to order vegetables for the store, really for myself, and I put a post on uh, Facebook to see if any of my neighbors wanted me to get them some too and uh, a lot of people responded uh, because they were afraid to go into supermarkets at the time and online uh, delivery was sort of a mess so a lot of people responded uh, i ordered uh, groceries for all of us and it just kind of went from there when the pandemic shut everything down, it was actually my daughter who found out that they had turned into a general store, basically. And so I started uh, coming over here and getting stuff for my two daughters who live in uh, apartments separate from us. Great salmon, eggs, you know, milk, great produce, uh, you know, really good avocados, lemons, limes, stuff that is running out at different moments all over the city. Uh, they seem to be able to keep a semi-steady supply of I mean, we're all making do. There was a reason that we chose the name uh, General Store. You know, General Stores were, you know, cornerstones of their uh, communities all over America. And I'm hoping that's what, you know, Fort Defiance uh, can become too. Everyone's sort of doing things in a different way now. Like our vendors who sell us meat and fish are used to sending us, you know, just 20 pound boxes of stuff and now they're breaking it all down and packaging it and labeling it. I mean everyone is learning how to be more consumer facing. You know we're all going through this uh, together and you know figuring it out and surviving uh, together. So. I'm so happy that they are doing what they're doing. I mean we have to be able to access like really nice produce, high quality fish, meats, um, kind of do the market shopping that other neighborhoods have but we don't have in Red Hook, I think it really fills a hole. Early on I sent out a survey to my uh, customers. 40% of them replied to the survey. We're talking about hundreds of uh, people, which is amazing in, you know, business uh, survey terms. That's, it's unbelievable. And people wrote the nicest things in their surveys and, the, and they were just, people are really rooting for us. I feel like they're, you know, not only are people shopping here and they're happy to shop here, but they're, they're invested in, in our success now. I mean, that, that feels great to have the, the, you know, the neighborhood on your side like that is a, is a really amazing feeling. It makes me feel like we're on the right path, that we're doing the right thing. Every day I was getting emails thanking us for you know, providing this service, which seemed crazy to me because we were making money from selling these uh, groceries, but people were not only happy to pay us, but they were just so thankful that we were doing it. That gratitude really just kept us going and really helped to guide the path of this uh, business. I've been coming to Fort Defiance for about five years. It was one of the places that when I first was considering moving to Red Hook, I kind of wanted to get a vibe for the place and, and what would it be like to live down here. And Fort Defiance, I think, is sort of uh, definitely gave me the sense that there's a community, that there's a really good food, um, and there's always someone amazing and interesting to get into some random, wonderful conversation with. To be honest, I'm really excited to get into the uh, general store business. I really like buying products to sell to my customers. I love talking to them about it. I love the quality of the, of the goods that we're uh, getting here. And uh, honestly, there's not a business like this in the neighborhood now. And I think it could, it could really find a, a permanent hold here and uh, you know, be as much a part of the community as Fort Defiance was as a restaurant. Water is free, we've got milk bones out here for dogs, so you know, come by and say hello.